not usually a good situation. So I'm, I'm kind of rattling my brain trying to figure out, did I say something last night? I had too much to drink, I don't even know what I said. And he asked, uh, I, I want you to be my best man. And, uh, and two things come to mind uh, when he asked me. The first one was like, dude, you're getting married in like five minutes. <laughs> like, hasn't that position already been filled? <laughs> what, are we, what are we running here? What kind of operation is this? <laughs> That's the first thing. The second thing, uh, listen, I don't know how guys do this most of the time. You know, and I don't expect to stay dinner, but, you know, we're oncoming traffic. I got my club stuck in my back. Trying to get a hug in, he's like, all right, man, see you later. That's <laughs> only Mark for me. Thanks for that. Good luck in there. Um, so that's kind of, that's how I heard about my, my duties uh, today. One more funny story, I promise I'll keep it brief, but uh, keeping with the theme of learning about uh, not only my duties, but uh, my role in the wedding at all. You guys probably don't remember this, so uh, keep your ears uh, keep your ears open here. So we were out to dinner about six, eight months ago with uh, Mark Carmel the city and the Mullins, Rachel and Steve, Woo! in the house tonight. And, uh, you remember? Okay, no, 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 no. Good. So it's Mark, Rachel, myself, Carmel is over here, Steve's across the table. Carmel and I are having a lovely conversation about the things that you and I talk about. Which are, you know, soul cycle and tennis and eagles, right? Of course. Go eagles, go eagles. Cowboys! A lot of eagle fans in here, I'm trying to stay present with Carmel in the conversation, but little did I know, Rachel Mullen, who, if you know, most of you don't know Rachel, she's a lovely lady in the back here. Uh, I affectionately call her the dentist because of her ability to, to drill down with people and just get answers out of people. It's, it's similar to waterboarding, but just a little less uh, comfortable. And uh, she just gets right in there and uh, gets the answers out. So she's talking hard. And I hear her across the table ask about the wedding part. So I'm trying to stay present with, with Carmela and have this conversation while I'm trying to, you know, I got my ear perked up. Um, you know, oh, wedding party, okay. Who's in the wedding party? Now I'm like, uh -huh. Mind you, I don't know anything at this point. All I know is Mark is marrying uh, Carmela at some date in the future. That's all I know. And this is six months ago. So uh, now I'm, I'm listening pretty hard. Now he starts naming names. Now, no disrespect to Carmela, I ain't listening to anything she's saying. I, I thought I could have laid across the table and gotten closer, I would have. And he started, you know, non traditional Julie, Brad, Terry, and Scott. I'm like, huh, bonus? This has been a great dinner. I'm actually in the wedding. And a uh, follow up question was Rachel saying, Well, does Scott know that? <laughs> Kicking her under the table at this point, and as only Margaret said, Of course he does. Of course. And I, said, I look across and say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Of course. And Carmel must think I'm nuts. We're talking about my salad order or something, and I'm, I'm beaming like I just won a lottery. Um, so, that give you just a little backstory on Mark and I, as close as we are, uh, there, there is a, a little bit of uh, lack of communication. <laughs> so I don't know how we do it. I mean, we could be in a car for three hours going to Annapolis or wherever. It's like dead air for like two hours. It's really, really awkward. You're like rattling your, your brain trying to think of subject matter to talk about. This really shouldn't be this difficult. Right? I feel like you're dating. Um, but anyway, all kidding aside, uh, we're done with the kidding portion of the program. Uh, Mark and I have been uh, best friends for the better part of 20 years, which is a little scary to say out loud, but the, uh, the 20 years part. Um, and, uh, you know, Hi, Corey. You know we've, uh, for, uh, for that span, I, uh, you know, we've been through uh, whatever I've been through in that, in that span of time. Feels like Mark has been there for all of it. Um, you know, the good times, the Belport, the Binghamton, the trips, the golf, the whatever. Um, and you know, they haven't always been good. And, and obviously, 
one comes to mind. Um, but uh, no matter what the situation is, uh, this guy is always always there for me. No questions asked, ever. Uh, fiercely, fiercely loyal, and, uh, and, and as generous as they come. And so uh, I am uh, extremely fortunate not only to be a part of your, your big day, but I just, I love you all, and, and uh, I just love having you in my life. I just feel very fortunate. Um, and so, you know, really, you know, all we want for our friends, really, you know, at the end of the day is to be happy. You know, that sounds very general, but that's what we want. We want them to be content with the decisions that they make, the people that they meet. And, you know, I could sit up here and tell you a thousand stories about, you know, Mark and Carmelo meeting, and it seems a little overplayed, but plus I don't know any of them because he doesn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> What I, uh, what I do know is this, is that since Mark has met Carm, it's, uh, he's just been, he's been different, he's been happier. Uh, there's a column about Mark that I haven't seen before, and believe me, we thank you for the effect that you're having. <laughs> it's a tribute to you, um, and Carm, you are uh, beautiful. You are warm, you're kind, you're a hell of a cook, which is good for me <laughs> from time to time. But uh, I am just so happy to be a part of your big day, and uh, uh, I love you both dearly. And, and look around this room and how many people are here for you guys, because everybody loves you. And uh, I just I think that's the biggest testament of all to the two of you. So uh, I love you very much, both of you. And uh, with that, where's my champagne? Thank you, brother. Um, Raise a glass to the happy new couple. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for placing the glasses down.